Alice Brett from Cullen Centre for Fusion Energy in Oxfordshire. I was a fellow last year. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about a pilot project we're doing to get nuclear fusion research data onto the EU DAT platform. So we operate two large nuclear fusion experiments, JET and MAST. And JET has been running for over 30 years, producing data all the time. At the moment, in the same way as all the other fusion experiments around Europe, our data is hosted in a, a local silo next to the experiment. And we have off-site backups, but there's no way to access it live from a, a mirror anywhere else. And that's what we're trying to address with the EU DAT project. <coughs> so EU DAT is a Horizon 2020 funded uh, research data platform. It's going to be EU-wide, part of this EU Open Science Cloud um, theme that's going on. And they provide a variety of services, which some of which already exist, some of which are under development. And they're operating these data pilots that are starting up now for about 18 months. And the idea is that they get some real users using their services and then that helps them develop their services as well as providing benefits like free hosting to the projects that are using them. So what we're trying to do is mirror our 30 years worth of future data, or at least some of it initially, onto the EU DAT platform to make it available to this community of nuclear fusion researchers around Europe. There are 29 different fusion labs around Europe, and there are ways that we can share data at the moment, but they're all different depending on which experiment you want to get the data from, and it's not as convenient as it could be. There's also ways that um, the EU DAT can move the data around to different data centres, close to HPC facilities and things like that, staging your data for, for processing elsewhere. So we're going to try that out. Um, and so really what we're after is making it more convenient for these researchers to access our data and for us to um, start to address some of the issues about how it's going to outlast the lifetime of the 